In this video, we're gonna make a custom true cold air intake. And because I've never done this before, I'm sure we'll make some mistakes along the way, but we're not gonna hide them. Stick around. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, I'm Matt. Moving forward with boosting our 1.8 turbo Chevy Cruze. We're shooting after 500 wheel horsepower and we're trying to reach tens in a quarter mile. And Cletus and Cars has an event going on here in Houston on October 2nd. So I'm trying to meet that. So let's go ahead and push forward and really just do what we need to do in order to reach our goals. And one of those things we talked about in the last video is making a custom cold air intake. Not one of those deals that go up in the engine bay and it's got the filter that's sucking in all the hot air. We want to draw in the coolest air possible from outside the engine bay. And what better way to do that with a custom cold air intake? And let me show you guys what I have in mind. As you can see here, under the hood of our car, we have a nice big opening where the stock air box would pull in cool air and the stock air box is actually pretty good. It actually would just route through this hole and to the front of the car getting the coolest outside air possible. There's also something there's also there's also something quite interesting going on with the stock base and to me it looks like it you know it catches the dirt pretty well with those little channels either that or it's just reinforcement but it does have a drain and all that stuff on it i think what i'm going to do is just reuse this base and redesign a top and i'll show you why rather than trying to completely reinvent the wheel here what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to use this base and what you guys can see that it does suck in Safe cooler air from outside the where the wheel well is at at least that's how it's going to be set up at this moment and i'm just going to enlarge this hole here so that way we can use uh, either three and a half to the, the four inches maybe we'll use four inches and we'll just completely cut this out we'll rivet a tube in there that will go down inside this hole that will get fresh air, but it will still kind of have some of its stock function in the sense that, you know, any water or anything, moisture, whatever, will still be able to drain out, but we'll be able to utilize a factory style filter in which they have a K&N filter for this particular air box. And then we'll just completely make a new top because normally with the 1.8, then takes at the back on this side, but with the 1.4, it's pointing at the front of the engine where the turbo is at. So we're gonna kind of model it a little bit after the 1.4, do something similar to this. We just need to make sure it'll fit underneath the hood. And I'll show you some of the cool things that I got. God, lay that sun's bright. All right, we are in SketchUp, but here is what I came up with. It is the top of the air box. We're just redesigning that. And I took the measurements of that top, made myself a square of those measurements, extruded it, and then kind of beveled these or angled them towards this bell mouth here. And I'll show you guys here in a moment, the bell mouth that I do have. And looking at the 1.4 air boxes, it's kind of set up like this in the engine bay and then angles off over to the, the turbo. So I think we're gonna kind of mock or, or just kind of copy that. And we'll, we'll see how that works out. I'm going to go ahead and kind of create a, a cardboard template from this in which I did take these flat surfaces and I, I traced them in Illustrator here. I'll have to kind of figure out if all this does fit underneath the hood, how, what's gonna be the best way to really manufacture this. I imagine using a brake towards where I can bend all this stuff. These two pieces here will have to be this piece and then this piece will probably have to be a separate piece so I can bend all this. This as well might have to be a separate piece, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see what we can kind of get away with. So I went ahead and, and just kind of merged all those things so we can cut it out real quick. We'll toss it on some cardboard and let's, uh, let's go ahead and transfer this over to some cardboard and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So what I'm going to use is this plotter here. Normally we kind of use it to do stickers and stuff like that, but it is able to cut out the size that I need up to about 24 inches. I have the design loaded up in the Computron here, and I'm just gonna send it over to this plotter and let it do its thing. That was fast.
All right, we got our doo-doo brown design transferred over on some cardboard. Now I just need to cut the thing out. And by the way, guys, the first one that I did, I realized that I did not have it flip the correct way. In other words, it was set to be mirrored, which is flipped the opposite way for doing HTV vinyl. Don't worry about what that means. Anyhow, sometimes it happens and damn airplanes today. <laughs> They're passing by every day. But anyways, point is, if you don't first succeed, try, try again. And out of all the places that had the lamp, oh my lord. Mm. All right, let's do some cutting. What the hell? Where'd my razor go? Something tells me it's probably in that. here we go here's the finished mock-up here's the bell mouth that I was talking about a little bit earlier got it from vibrant performance it's a three and a half inch OD bell mouth I think that should be sufficient flow for our turbo and our air will just will draw a lot of the air from the center of the the filter so let's go ahead and toss this on the car and see if we can close the hood it's going to be so disappointing if this doesn't fit. Moment of truth. I don't think it's going to fit, but... Oh, all right. Well, I think we'll just have to ditch the idea of, oh, you know what? Not that this is gonna make a whole lot of a difference. I didn't have this thing seated all the way. What the hell is this other part hooked up to? Oh yeah, the damn thing that's gone. Let's try that again. Maybe that'll help. I doubt it. One thing sticks up so damn much. Let's see what we got. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Smashing my prototype here. Uh, we need about a good three and a half inches off the top of this thing, so. All right. Back to the drawing board. Well, it looks like we'll have to go back to the drawing board on this one, but that's all right. Now, I really like how this is kind of looking. I'm going to try and utilize that base, and perhaps maybe what we can do is just kind of trim down this top portion of the bell mouth because we're really not pulling a whole lot of air from the top of this air box. So maybe we can just cut that flat. We can still utilize this bell mouth to an extent, and I think we just need to lower the height of this thing about three, I'd say about three inches. Three inches to three and a half inches. There's a little bit of this base here that I can kind of shorten down because this project didn't completely work out this time. I'm gonna go and smack my kids around and take it out on them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know, like I said earlier, if something doesn't work the first time around, it's, it's all part of the process. And you know, it was cool that we got to this point to see 
kind of how it will look. So be sure to subscribe, stay tuned, hit the notification bell, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm just really wanting this to be a, a true cold air intake. The cone style intakes that just suck up the, the hot engine bay air, uh, that's not what I'm after. So we'll get it figured out. Also, everybody thinks a little differently. So it'd be interesting to hear y'all's comments down below. Until next time, guys, peace out with your peace out. And thanks for tuning in.